Okay, in this problem we're asked to determine the critical points of our function f of x, y subject to the constraint g of x, y equals c. We've been given some level curves of f of x, y equals some constant k, um, and k is varying, so, and f of the level curves of f are given in blue, and then our constraint g of x, y equals c is given in red. And we want to find the critical points of f. So we see that um, we have values of f that are subject to our constraint at the points where they intersect. Um, clearly when f is um, equal to whatever this value is, um, it doesn't seem to intersect our subject, our constraint, g. So it's not going to be on there. But we're looking for points where it just glances off of our constraint function, because then it will be optimized. And we see that um, there appears to be just such a glance off right at the point x y equals 1, negative 1. So we see that it appears as though we have this blue line just barely touching this red line. And it occurs at the point 1, negative 1. And an interesting thing about this um, problem is you can actually sort of um, determine what our function f of x, y is, because all of the level curves appear to be just linear, just lines. Um, with slope 1. So we see that we should have f of x, y equals y minus 1. And when we set this equation equal to, for instance, 0, we have y is equal to x. So then we're given this level curve here. So this is f equals 0 in this situation. Um, and so then we can determine actually what level curve corresponds to having the point x, y equals 1, negative 1. So um, this point here is negative 2. So that means our y-intercept is going to be negative 2. So our constant k is going to be negative 2. So we have y minus x equals negative 2. And it, oh, sorry, I wrote that on the wrong one. So we have f equals negative 2 on this level curve. And notice how when we're moving in this direction, we're increasing our values of f. So we can see that we go from f equals negative 2 to f equals 1 to f equals 0. So our function value is actually increasing as we gain points that actually lie on our constraint function. So, but as, we, as I stated earlier, it looks as though as we move in this direction, we're not going to actually intercept, intersect the constraint function ever. So it appears as though we have a global minimum at x, y equals 1, negative 1. And we know that f of x, y at 1, negative 1 is equal to negative 2 at that point. So it appears as though we have a global minimum at uh, 1, negative 1, and our, value is, our, our minimum value is negative 2.